How you feel? All good. You just no. killed the stage. Just rocked that bitch. <laughs> crazy, bro. bro. Yes. Listen, Polo, how does it feel coming from Chicago and being here? Like, you know, knowing where you come from and just being at this place in your life. How you feel? I mean, this shit crazy. It's a blessing. You feel me? I'm appreciative. I, every step I took coming along this way and even, you feel me, this moment right now, even when I was probably on the smaller stages back then, this shit all a blessing to me. Yeah. I mean, Chicago really been putting on from yesterday. We had G Herbo, we had Yeezy, we had, I mean, just everybody. And then today, you holding it down. And you're a vet at this. So what can you say is maybe like your favorite part about doing Rolling Loud or something that stood out to you about performing here? My favorite, I, I can't really know, like, what's my favorite part, but I know Rolling Loud Miami is my favorite role. Okay. Like, every time I come here, I enjoy myself. Yeah. It's and bad. one of your favorite songs to perform. My favorite song to perform is Martin and Gina. Because okay. I, 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 I just did a Europe tour. Mm -hmm. And when I was out there, like, I could run into a dead crowd. But whenever I perform that song, they're going to turn up. <laughs> okay. So it's like I ain't never really know that or peep that at first because I'm thinking it's just like a little love song. But whenever I perform that song, they're going to get lit for sure. It's universal for sure, for sure. I ain't going to lie that. What up? You, hey, listen. <laughs> hey, Polo, every club right now. Oh, yo, it's like dreams and nightmares and what up? Oh, you going crazy. They, they, that's a must right yeah. now. Not out PGF look, man. Yeah, yeah, y'all going crazy with that. So, let, first of all, let's talk about the Drip 2 list. Let, let's check him out. He, I mean, the, he fresh. The Jays, <laughs> them, them one of ones, like, you can't get those. You can't get those. He's going to drop till December, man. Okay, and the shorts. And the shorts. Yeah, what's this, the set? This yeah, the set, Rich has a, uh, Rich has a, he a, uh, um, he a, like an underground street brand. Okay. And he building his platform, though. A lot of popular artists like Thug and, you feel me, uh, what's it, Melly. A lot of people wear stuff. Gunna, you know. Hey, free the homies. You feel me, uh, Rich has a, he from Chicago. In the it's paddock. Fresh. It's fresh. Paddock, you feel what? me. <laughs> I'm the first nigga to put my face in the paddock. Let me see bro. that. Wait you know? a minute. First nigga yeah. ever. Let Check that out, Liz. You know that? Okay. Can you flex that for the camera? Can you flex that for the camera That's for me? Please, please. That's real hard. Please. That's big time. In the in the piece. And you see I got the rolling loud piece. Me and yeah, Liz rocking jeans. with the roll. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got one though. What's that? What's the uh the big joint? The bottle joint. The bottle one, this my uh my my album that I uh, had released around this time last year, Hall of Fame. Okay. And then this one from my uh block that I'm from, 1300. Oh. You know what I also got to say? Happy belated birthday to your little man. I see y'all went Thank up. Y'all went man. crazy for his birthday. Like, that's that's sure. super dope just to see you as a father, you know, especially in today's culture and you put it on for your family. Like, that's really beautiful. So the show and Polo, what you got for up-and-coming artists? Like, any inspiring words you want to tell them, like, to get to where you at, like, you know, just to kind of keep them pushing because sometimes they forget, you know, you look so lit every day, it's hard for somebody to feel like they can do do this and get to a place like right. this that you're in. My best advice, hustle, go get it, you feel me, and protect your mental health. Thanks. You got so many people who will be in your ear when you get in the position. A lot of people don't even really fuck with you for real. You, it's a lot of vultures in this game. You got to protect your mental health, protect your peace. That's how you're going to be the best version of you. Facts. Yeah, for sure. You got a strong family too, man. You tied in with your. Let's be talking about your moms. You tied in with your family. You yeah. keep you keep that real close. And is that a hard thing for you to do? No, nah, hell no. Nah. You know, family gonna be family. We gonna bump heads, but right. at the end of the day, you feel me? This 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 the bond you gonna respect more than any friend that can come along. That's right. right, for sure. So what you got coming up next? What can the fans look forward to? Uh, what I got coming up next, I got an album that I'm dropping with uh, Southside. Okay. For sure. You know what I mean? The name to be announced. Okay. Now we can't get no exclusive. <laughs> no. But it's a lit project, man. This is some of my coldest shit I done dropped in a minute, though. I'm back in my bag. Okay. Hey, Polo, check this out. Any artists that you haven't worked with that you want to work with in the future, like, that might not even be hip-hop, just somebody that you yeah. probably, yeah, you feel me, Liz? Like, somebody he never even thought to work with, and you probably like, man, maybe I should try this out. I ain't gonna lie, the way I work as an artist, I don't really got no artists in mind that I would always want to work with. Like, I, 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 I get features off sounds. So if okay. I make a song, then I'm like, oh, he'll sound good on this. But I never have, like, oh, for the future, I want this yeah. artist as a milestone. I don't really look at it like that. I just go off of what feel right. So I don't, I don't really... You be all about, like, organic. Yeah, organic shit, yeah. Uh -huh. I like that, though. They, they keep sure. you in the game, like, longevity-wise. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, we rocking with you, Polo. You did your thing, man. You you definitely had about a good 
extra <laughs> 500 just you know because this is what happens when somebody leaves the stage they'll go scatter off out a little bit and yeah. then when somebody else that they want to come see and just come full circle you know what i'm saying Rushing. you they came to see you bro they and i gotta to ask you. you know it, it could be a little bit intimidating when you're on the stage and you got this big old crowd but like how are you able to just control them and like keep them vibing with you I mean, the crowd gonna always go off your energy. If you look like you don't want to be there, yeah. they gonna want to leave. Yeah. So you gotta be turned. Feel me? You gotta just get them the right impression when you step up there. You feel me? You stepping up to the big stage like that. Yeah. You just gotta be confident. And what's a typical day for Polo G right now? Even if it's busy, if it's lit, what's a typical lit day for Polo G? I ain't gonna lie, I'm a boring guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll probably stay in the crib all day till it's time to work. When your birthday? Uh, January 6th. Oh, you're you a Capricorn. Capricorn. Ah. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Go it. Yeah, say that. It's giving toxic. <laughs> it's giving toxic. Yeah. Damn. See how they do it, see? <laughs> no, I just can't. I'm Capricorn. just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just Shout out to all the Capricorns. All right, now listen. Now, I've got another thing for you. What's one of your favorite emojis? When you type in, oh, yeah. what's one of your favorite you emojis? Hey, everybody know me on Twitter. I use the tornado emoji. Y'all go, go crazy to with the tornadoes. Okay. Y'all drop that This is what we're going to do. Hashtag PacSun with the P and then put the torno tornado tornadoes. on it. Yeah, because this is powered by PacSun and Go Puff Twitch Rolling Loud Live. We here with Polo G, man. We having a good time. Hey, man, listen, we really appreciate you kicking it with Thanks. us, bro. Like, you know, you giving off good vibes. The vibes is good, man. And I wanted to know, too, any, any like, uh, small short films or documentaries, anything like that you plan on doing with your click? Like, just... You know, day to days and just dropping it as a series or something. Anything like that? You ever thought about that? I, I got a documentary I'm cur currently, currently working, working on uh -huh. for myself. Uh, it's called 25. I, I'm going to drop it about when I'm 26. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just like uh, my whole life leading up to now, you know, yeah. my journey in music. But aside from that, I'm um, working with Spotify on this, um, this short doc about mental health. I love That's that. That's what's up. That is super dope. And if y'all didn't know, we still in July. Yeah, we still in July. July is Minority Mental Health Awareness Month. So shout out to you for doing that and making it a part of the culture. And you know? why? Why? That's a great. That's a big topic right now. But why is it so important to you right now? Mental health. Is it because we live in a fast life and just managing everything, or is just like it get? It just it's just hectic, and you just try to balance it. And you being a black man in America, I mean, it's real. Yeah, yeah we all battle that. I feel like. Any person, no matter what skin color you is, no matter what demographic you come from, we all battle mental health. So that's just important just to be mindful of it in yeah. this day and age, especially with social media and your phone being in front of you to distract you from your actual problem. Right. Feel me? That's a, that's a topic we need to touch on as people. So, like, what do you do when you're going through that mental storm? What do you do to get out of that? Or like, what do you do to relax or release? Mm, that's a good one. I don't know. Like, my, my best thing is, like, hitting a reset. So, some is say that as a shower, a Facts. drive. Facts. I could say my positive affirmations. You Come know? on, now. That's what we I'm need. I'm just a we refresher a nigga, you know? <laughs> Capricorn, you're oh, Capricorn. You're going to do that. Oh, my God. I ain't going to lie to you. I could totally see Polo G's affirmations. That shit going to go low. I think he's he going to right drop the book after the doc. You need to go ahead and... For real. For real, for real. Crazy. Um, um, so, with the with the... um documentary series you got dropping is are we going to get real detail or are you going to keep it like you know sometimes people do things and they keep it a little pg-13 or you going to try to give them is the, the, the real, real deal. you know what i'm saying you, i feel like you will i feel like you will but i just want to know is you going to give it to them like that I f i'm gonna get the people as much as i can you feel me as as much that i need to like i feel like as an artist i'm one of the more private artists like you okay. don't really know shit about me yeah unless there's a motherfucker in my circle talking too much <laughs> okay so like i i'm really willing to do that though and just give a motherfucker who, who i who, who i really am and how i coordinate yeah yeah i like that though that's for sure yeah, yeah. capricorns we always going to give y'all what y'all want to know what we what we want y'all to know 
And then we're going to keep Okay, it. but I'm going to be it. honest because I got a few Capricorn friends. Okay. Let's talk and about I will be honest. Y'all are y'all some cool people. But y'all come off a little judgmental at the beginning. It's kind of like, I don't know if they feeling my vibe. I don't know if they like me. But, you know, y'all cool, though. I can say y'all cool. Y'all we cool. organized. We, keep, we y'all cool. Planners. We keep it player, man. We keep it player. Right there, Reggie. Right? We, keep, we keep it player, man. So um, any other art, any new artists you got coming off your, your label? I got two times. Shout out two times. He from Canada. Okay. I got uh, Scory. I got Young Live. Mm-hmm. Feel me. Shout out Trench Baby too, man. For sure. Shout out Leilani. You know that's 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 my bloodline right there. Them last okay. two. Okay. Feel me. Man? That's family members. Yeah, family members. My How's brother it? and my sister. Okay. Oh wow. That's what's up. You no. Know, we trying to be like the Jackson Five with this hey. shit, man. <laughs> I don't think you. I don't think you try. I think you're gonna do it. I just want to get to the point where you don't know who Mike is, though. Nah, for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. You, gotta, you gotta keep it in family, build an empire, cause that, um, you know, legacy is a thing. Um, bro. So you gonna hang out? Are you gonna be hanging out for rolling out for a minute, or you, you know? Hell no, I'm finna get up out of here. <laughs> I'm finna go to the club. I'm finna rock out. Hey, he I'm finna turn y'all. it up. Where you, where you hang? Where you might hang out tonight at? Um, I ain't really got no plans exactly. I'm just go where the wind take me, you know? Yeah, got to, got to, got to, got to. Make sure you be safe. I got you. Yeah, and enjoy yourself. And again, we really appreciate you rocking. This is my first time at Rolling Loud, so you made it a great experience. Super dope watching you do your thing. Yo, that paddock is crazy, though, bro. How you, bro? Who did that, though? Uh, Wafi. He in Atlanta. Shout out to the A. For sure. I see you got the. T- I see you got the. Um... I'm from Nashville, but I live in Atlanta. Oh yeah, that's yeah. cool. Hey G, I see. I fuck with Atlanta. My bad. I see you got the um the the hip hop artist on your arm. Who who was one of the th- these the artists that inspired you coming up? Now these are all people that I fuck with like on the woke side. Okay. If I... For everybody that can't see, you can shout them out for me. Malcolm X, Nat Turner, uh, Tupac, Nipsey Hussle. And what what's if you could give me like a what what do they I give love to it. you? He's a yeah. culture man. Like I fuck with their mindset. So, this is my Mount Rushmore right here, out of the people Period. I respect. Period. Y'all heard him. That's what I'm talking about. You a, Jay- you a Jay-Z fan? Yeah, I fuck with him. Favorite album from Jay? No, I ain't that. Huh? Hanging in all that. Hanging in all that. What about Chicago? <laughs> my favorite artist from Chicago? Yeah. I say G Herbo. G Herbo? Yeah, he was with us yesterday. He was rocking he out, was so man. so cool. He did his thing, too. For I real, fuck with Swerve. Y'all, hey. be, y'all be fresh, too. I, I peeped the drip. I hey, hey, can we get a, um, can I, I, I want to see a, f- a future song where you sample, like, I ain't seen nobody from Chicago sample like a do or die joint. That, cause I fuck with do or die, though. Yeah, that was, they, they a vibe. That, that shit. I fuck with do or die. Yeah, you messed with that. I don't that. know. It got a, no. it, it got a, <laughs> 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 it got a, yeah, man, we still here.